Before the advent of the cloud, you would have people and companies buy their own hardware for their computing needs. This meant large capital investments in technology and also ongoing maintenance costs, as well as physical space needed to house the hardware. And if traffic increased to applications, you would have to buy more hardware. And if it suddenly decreased, you would be left with the extra hardware and would have essentially wasted your money. Cloud computing is computing on demand over the internet. You pay for what you use only. If demand to your application suddenly increases, you pay more, and if it decreases, you pay less. Upfront costs are essentially zero. This has made it super easy for people like you and me, as well as startups, to quickly test, deploy, and ship our software. But how do you facilitate the provisioning of computing resources over the internet? The answer is infrastructure as code. The idea is that you write code that defines your infrastructure. It could be a server instance, for example, a database, or a firewall. Now, the way that you would originally do this in AWS is to write something called CloudFormation templates, either in JSON or in YAML. But there were several problems with these templates. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're very, very cumbersome to write. There's no error checking. It's very difficult to reuse them across projects. There are no conditionals. And also, there are a lot of lines of code. The example shown is, is over 400 lines of code to create a single S3 bucket, uh, which is sort of a, a general purpose uh, storage service offered by AWS. So this, this meant that it, would, it was very, very difficult for even small projects to, to maintain them. Now, to solve that, AWS came up with something called CDK, which stands for Cloud Development Kit. And it's essentially a higher level of abstraction than CloudFormation templates. And it allows us to use familiar programming languages like Python, JavaScript, and TypeScript to define our infrastructure. So you would have something called constructs, uh, which are sort of, which represent these cloud components, uh, which could either be an S3 bucket or or, or an AWS Lambda function, for example. And these can then be reused and combined into something called stacks. And these stacks would then define our entire application. Now, because we use a high, high level programming languages, we get all the benefits of a programming language, so, such as uh, uh, error checking, branches, and conditionals baked right in. Uh, and this also means that we can use CDK as actual code. So it's very easy to commit it to a version control system like Git, for example. And also it's very easy to, to keep track of changes in the infrastructure as our project develops. Now, this also means that we can put them into pipelines to automate deployments and make automated tests. So in short, this is really, really good and a huge step up uh, from, from CloudFormation templates. Now, the way that you would do this would be to, to write this code as seen, uh, as, as you can see in the, on, on the screen. Uh, it's an example in Python. And this would essentially uh, synthesize uh, this CloudFormation template, which would finally spin up this AWS, uh, this Amazon S3 bucket. Uh, so you write this code, which synthesizes these templates uh, and uh, gets uploaded to CloudFormation AWS, which finally spins up these computing resources. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and stay tuned for more.